everybody, Chromeboy Nanny Productions here yet again. Today we'll be doing another custom showcase. This episode we're doing some West Country class engines, preserved engines that are in my series. So further ado, let's get to these batch of customs I did. Today we have Wad Bridge right here. Number 34007. He's the oldest of the batch, obviously, of the real life batch, but in my town, the series we know of, Rebecca is still older than him. So is one of my OCs. I do have an OC that is a West Country class. Let's have a look at Wad Bridge. So, he obviously is BR Green. This is meant to represent British Railways Green in a way. Face was obviously Fearless Freddy. There's a nice zoom in look at his nameplate and shield right here. He is a West Country. There is his number right here. Routability of seven. His tender is basically back to tender. Routability is 7P, as you can see. Just painted the wheels black. And I did the stripe on the side right here. Of course I didn't I swap out the wheels for some troublesome truck wheels, but I'll change those in the near future. Obviously. The foot plate is black. I did the lamps on the inside in silver. Buffer beam is red. And the buffers are black. So, now we'll take a look at another West Country class, a Battle of Britain class, that has survived, that is not rebuilt. Here we have another male member of the class. This one is Blackmore Vale. So, he's also a player L Rebecca, just like with Wad Bridge. The reason why, because I wanted a matching model to Rebecca. Don't want to go with the Trackmaster version. The Playrail version I have more creativity with. So let's take a look at him. His face I molded. Obviously from that putty. He also has the black roof line. But he is a lighter green. This is meant to represent the Southern Railway's machete, machete green, whatever it is. And his number is pretty big, 21C123. He also has it on the front. His wheels, yet again, are still black. The wheels are 3D printed. The southern decal is printed. And the stripes on the tender. Of course, like with the previous one, the buffer beam is red. Of course, he has a gray undercoat. Like with all the other West Country classes, I haven't shown the previous one, but I painted the back of the cab interestingly for more detail. And the windows I also painted on the sky. The base I did in gray, just like with all the other ones. You can see that color palette, so it's a bit short. Of course, like with all the other ones, I did black on the tender as well. So, now we'll have a look at another surviving member. Here we have Winston Churchill. Better be here, number 34051. The real Winston Churchill is on display, very interestingly. The previous two have ran before in preservation. So, we're going to have a look at him yet again. Base is obviously a Gordon. Wish I could have had a smaller Gordon face molded for this one, but this is the best I can do on him, you can see. There's the CGI, the eyebrows, you can see the kind of the same details. The British Railway is green with the stripe put on here. And we'll take a look at his nameplate over here and let's just look at it. We can there's his nameplate with the crest. 
he is a real West Country class. It's not a Britain class. The British Railways logo, Railways logo, whatever. The uh, tender lining. The same green. Green with the black, obviously, in it. I really like this guy. Let me know who your favorite of the preserved West Country classes I give customs are attached to yes. Put in the comments below if you want to. So, we will get to another surviving member that is within the series. That is Unrebuilt. Right over here is Tangmere. Tangmere is number 34067 of these. She has well, he has steamed and preservation before. Basically, most of the preserved West Country classes in my series, those ones that survived are obviously male. A couple of females here and there have survived. So now we'll take a look at Hang Mirror. So, use a Donald face. He did the eyebrows. Same on the, the plate there. Here's a Look on the side here, zoom in on the nameplate, printed that out because that's the best I can do, and we'll zoom with the number, 7P, that's the routability of this one, P means passenger, the tender, the wheels are 3D printed, obviously, and the same goes with the previous ones, I also did do some painting on the Tender as well. British Railways Crest, right over here. Of course, of course, Blackmore Vale has Southern, obviously. The cab, I used bronze paint on around the windows, but unfortunately, I did not do the little black stripe on the other side yet, so I will pretty much get to that pretty soon on this guy. So, he's obviously almost done. Forgot about that on the other side, I didn't notice. So, now we'll get to another survivor, but this time, a female. Here we have the first female of the batch. This one right here is Manston. Manston has recently steamed in real life. I'll check the status. Well, never mind. We'll get to tank. Well, we will get to no other than Miss Manston right here. So, Manston was a Rebecca. She kept the Rebecca face, but I added different eyebrows, mostly to differentiate from Rebecca. I did forget one thing. I forgot to paint the insides of the lamps black. <laughs> well, actually, silver. My bad. Sorry about the look on this one. Now we'll take a look at her nameplate. There's her nameplate right here. And the number. Of course she has. The wheels were from a Clay Rail Connor I made into another custom that I'll showcase later. Of course. She does have imperfections here and there, but it's the best I can do on this gal. There's her tender. She actually is actual black wheels, probably from a Spencer or a Merlin, obviously. Get the back of the gender right here and the left hand side here and there. Unlike Tang there, I did manage to paint the lining. Wasn't very easy to do on this one. But she is very much a good chap. And she's a very good runner, obviously. She's a very good runner for a West Country class locomotive, obviously. This is the reason why I bought multiple Rebecca's folks. Because I decided to make a bunch of all the preserved West Country classes. Would have needed 10 of them just to do 10 out of 20 of these. Now we'll get to the next surviving member of the class. This is another male right here. This one right here is, of course, 249 Squadron. Of course. He has a little bit of a 
imperfections, but we'll look at that a little later. So here is his face, Gordon face, Playroy Gordon face that I use, and we did a little bit, shorten the nose, just like that. Let's see. As for a close up of the model, there's his nameplate, 257 Squadron, named from the 257 Squadron in the United Kingdom. Obviously, here's a close look at his nameplate, number plate, 34072-7P. As you can see right here, route availability. And he has the British Railways crest on the tender. Of course, the wheels are troublesome truck wheels. I'm um, probably going to pretty print more wheels so I can use them for these engines. And there's the back of the cab right here. And there's the back of the cab. Yet again, I have some imperfections on him, but I'll fix those pretty soon. Get another look at the nameplate on this guy. There's some yellow showing through. Probably just yellows is showing through now, so I'll probably paint over those just to make them look better. And now we'll take a look at another of those survivors that has not yet steamed in preservation. Now we'll take a look at him. This right here is another one. This one has not yet steamed in preservation in real life. This one right over here is no other than 249 Squadron. In my series, he's still alive and well, obviously, since the head cannons within my series doesn't have to do with real life most of the time. So let's take a look at 249 Squadron. Like the previous ones, he was made from a play rover Becca, the SL8, which is why I got a lot of tankers. Now I'll have a look at this guy right here. His face I molded as well. Gordon with a... I had a little mustache right there. And the eyebrows, you can see. And there is his name plate right there. 249 Squadron. And the number, 34073. Very Xenoplus there. And the British Railways logo. This is basically the way he looks within my Thomas series, obviously. There's the back of his tender. And obviously there, there of course is the back of the cab, you can see, just like with every other one. And there's the left hand side. Nice look at the nameplate again. And, and of course, like I said, the face I molded with that putty from a Gordon face, and obviously, that's how it pretty much came out. So now, we'll be taking a look at another surviving member of the class. Well, let's look at her. Now right here is Cydia Wells. This one is probably currently steaming or something like that. We'll have to check the status of her. So right over here we have Cydia Wells, number 34092. One of Rebecca's surviving siblings within my Thomas Hunt Cannon. Her face to Rebecca, but with heavy modification. I added purple eyeliner instead of black. And big eyebrows. I don't have a voice for her yet, but there's the red buffer beam and the lamps inside colored there. Now we'll take a look at her crest. Cydia Wells, or Wells for short. Another West Country wooden there. And there's the nameplate right here. British Railways crest. Same on the other side as well. Oh, look inside of that name. That's a very nice looking shield there. Very nice, uh... This little crest right there, whatever that is. And I used the same exact green as the last one. Interestingly, she is pretty much complete as well, so... 
Then we're gonna have a look at the last of those survivors, and then one of my OCs. Right over here we have another female, West Country Flats. Right here is Swanage. Unfortunately for Swanage, I have not added nameplates to her yet. I am really hoping to find pictures of Swanage's nameplates and hopefully add them to her. So we'll take a look at her. So she has eyebrows and pretty much no eyeliner. Well, almost no eyeliner actually. <clears throat> Unfortunately, she does not have nameplates yet. Do you want to add them? There's the number 34105 and crest. Of course, she is the youngest of the surviving West Country classes. Very young chap, obviously. Here we have the back of the tinder and all that, and painted the bumper beam just like we should. The wheels are still troublesome truck wheels. I am planning on getting 3D. I am planning on 3D printing wheels for her tender. I really want to. <laughs> but here's a close look at the number again. Hey, there's the number. There it is. There we go. So, now we will be taking a look at one of my pretty famous OCs. Let's look at him. Right over here, we have my OC Nikolaus. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at one more. But we'll look at that one afterwards. Right over here is Nikolaus. So, he's got his name plate up here. Nice red paint job and his number. He's NWR45 within my series. The NWR on the Tinder. Also, I did the usual fabrication. His face was obviously molded from James. Little nose modified a little bit, as you can see. And and now we'll see what's next. One thing I did forget to mention: I painted the foot plate white on this guy right here. And did the little handrails there red and the roof black. And now we'll see what we have next. This one I seem to forget to look at earlier. So right over here is no other than 92 Squadron, right here. One of the two preserved West Country classes within my series, well, West Country or Battle Britons within my series that have this Southern Railway style livery. So let's take a look at 92 Squadron. Here's his number, right below his face, you can see right here, red buffer beam. His face was obviously a Gordon James, but I redid it as well. And we'll take a look at his nameplate, 92 Squadron, you can see the logo. And the number 3401 and the British Railways, the early style logo right here, printed. And the stripes. There's the back of him right over here. You have some yellow left from the previous paint job. And of course, right here we have the cab. We have the cab windows. Front cab windows. We're still black. Obviously, I'm going to repaint those later to yellow, hopefully to match the rest of the locomotive. So, now we'll take a look at the Rebecca I use within my series. Let's look at her. And here is my normal, typical Rebecca you see within my series, of course. I haven't really painted her yet, obviously. This is a nice little quick look at her. No, she is not a custom yet, but I am planning on doing something with her, obviously. It was a bit dirty, but not in the best shape. I really want to really 
make a nice Rebecca model out of this one. So, alright, so hopefully that's a nice look at Rebecca and her siblings. So, we'll end the video. If you have enjoyed this custom showcase, I suggest you leave a like, a comment, subscribe. What is your favorite of my West Country class customs? Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching this custom showcase, Trainboy 90's custom showcases. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you all next time. And of course, peace out of the video. Bye.